David, are you excited about this? Uh, sure, I guess. David has no idea what we're doing I tonight. I set you up a five-way blind. told him that he was going to be doing a blind from one of the brackets that he put together for me. Tonight, I'm not doing that. I'm going back to Beyond the Rose, what is your bourbon sweet spot? Based on some of those results, I've picked five bourbons for David to try tonight just to see what David's bourbon sweet spot is. First up tonight, I've got E.H. Taylor Small Batch coming in at 100 proof. Wild Turkey Rare Breed coming in at a 116.8 proof. Russell's Reserve 10 year. This one's coming in at 90 proof. Sam Houston 12 year. This guy comes in at 98 proof. And last up, we've got Knob Creek 12 year coming in at 100 proof. From one of the blinds that we did before, we had Knob Creek 12 year coming in first place for both of us. We had a uh, rare breed coming in first place for David. And then we had E.H. Taylor small batch coming in first place for our bourbon sweet spot videos we've been doing. So I'm going to get these poured up and I'm going to get David in here. All right. Well, I'm going to mix them up. So you do it with me. It smells like Buffalo Trace. <laughs> I know, but it does. I'm getting a ton of raspberry on this one. It's like raspberry, a little bit of barrel oak, some char. The raspberry is like raspberry jam to a raspberry cough syrup. Ooh, so I get a dark, rich caramel, some red berry. But man, there's some brown sugar that's really drawing me in. That's why I'm going second, just because I don't want you to copy all of my <laughs> tasting notes like you normally do. I'm getting a fluffy raspberry marshmallow. Oh, wow. With, why are you pouring my good bourbons? This, I really feel like this is a really good bourbon. This says like a raspberry milkshake oh, almost. Yeah, that is so good. Dessert. There's That's so good. Something baking. I'm getting a, like a raspberry cheese, cream cheese Danish. Got a good proof there to counterbalance that though. And some baking spices too that carry through. That's really well balanced. It's not like pure candy. Like sometimes like the Weller 12, it's just like nothing but red berry and there's just not much there. Mm -hmm. That that carries through a nice proof spice. Mm -hmm. mm, really good thick, thick syrup in your mouth. That's quality, quality product right there, Jamie. Yeah. So the nose on this one, I'm getting a little bit of a musty barrel. Musty barrel, spice, baking spice, proof spice, spicy, spicy, musty barrel. <laughs> I am getting some caramel underneath the musty barrel. I am getting a little bit of caramel and some uh, oak. Oh yeah. I get that peppery spiciness. There's a black pepper in there. Yeah. Oak barrel. I'm trying hard to get something nice and sweet on the nose, but not happening for me. No, it's just lots of mustiness there. Yeah, there is. I'm getting a lot of age notes on this one. Wow. Musty. It's got a nice, uh, um, there is this nice like caramel covered oak plank thing going on mm -hmm. with and some char. It's, it's, it, it got better on the palate. I almost on that caramel you're talking about got like this peppery, oaky, charry thing. And then towards the finish, I got a marshmallow with caramel and it does have the oak still in there, mm -hmm. but then I got nerds taste on top. A little bit artificial, of artificial grape. sweetness. Yeah. Or like I was thinking maybe blueberry, but okay. I didn't yeah. know if there was a blueberry nerd. I don't know if there is one either. <laughs> it does go to this very oaky caramel thing toward the end. Mm -hmm. The palate on that one, I think is much better than the nose. The nose on that one was very musty yeah. barrel, but on the palate, it really just kind of comes alive into, it is very oaky, you mm -hmm. know, but it's got a lot of like nice sweet caramel, a little bit of that marshmallow you were getting. On this one, I'm getting quite a bit of clove and I'm a little bit of an earthiness, like a lot of an earthiness, a little bit of a vanilla cream, very faint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, um, it's very earthy. I got the mustiness. I called it earthy. It's earthy, but there's something else there. Uh-huh. Like an alcoholic's astringent. I get what you're saying. 
I'm getting a little bit uh, on that earthiness, a little bit of a lemon. Yeah. Like a lemongrass. Do I have permission to drink it now, Jamie? <laughs> yes, please do. That is... Interesting. Earthy, musty. Lemon, lemon zest. Lemon zest. Caramel. Lots mm -hmm. of dark, dark caramel. Old tobacco. Mm -hmm. Leather. Like I licked the purse. You said that all right. I'm yeah. finishing with like a sweet lemonade, though. Like at the very end with a little bit of caramel in there. Yeah, it does kind of go to a, a tart caramel. Mm -hmm. I get what you're going with that. No. Oh. Mama doesn't go for those really musty old guys. I thought you liked <laughs> the old guys. That's why I have to watch you when you're we go not, out. You're not that old. I'm the <laughs> same age as you are. <laughs> nope. Cutting it right after I say, <laughs> you're not that old. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So after that last one that was very, very old smelling, mm -hmm. this one has this like nice, nice floralness to it. I'm getting a little earthiness on this one, but a lot of floral notes and like a little bit of caramel, just very, very light. I'm also getting a little bit of an apple. It's not really like apple skin or a tart apple, mm -hmm. but like the inner mushier part of an apple. Ooh. I love that apple, like a caramel covered apple. Ooh, let me smell it again. That's nice. I do kind of get that caramel covered apple. Do you get the earthiness though? Mm -hmm, a little bit. Not like the last it's one. It's kind of funny you said that. I'm like walking through trees, picking apples. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. That's getting a lot of baking spice on that one, mm. but a very like cinnamon, cinnamon rolls apple with apple pie. with frosting oh apple pie mm. apple pie with a caramel drizzle yeah some baked pie crust that one's nice that's really like complex i'm getting dough like i'm doughy there's a lot going on with that one it really yeah there's a lot i'm i'm having trouble with my words right now it's not as thick and syrupy as some of the other ones on the palette though mm -hmm. it's a little bit thinner mm-hmm but it's really complex and nice, nice, interesting bourbon to sip. Lemon, hay, some cereal grains, but not like the mil milky kind. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we talk about like the really milky cereal, breakfast cereal. This is not that. It's more of like a very kind of a fresh grain, caramel, lots of vanilla. That's, a, that's actually really nice on the nose. Oh yeah. That's very nice on the nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm getting some jam. Like strawberry jam. Really? Mm-hmm. I got no berry on it. That smells good. I want I want to drink it. <laughs> yeah, that smells really nice. I like this one on the nose. Cherry chapstick. On the palate, I'm getting the cherries. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of that waxiness, the chapstick kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I get that. I'm getting quite a bit of caramel. Uh, a lot of vanilla. Kind of a baker's vanilla. Mm-hmm. There's like a numbness happening. Yeah, it's like a it's puckery numbness. It's creating a pucker. A little bit of effervescent on the back of the tongue as well. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It has a nice proofiness to it. It's like it's like a really good balance of proof to the flavors in it. Mm -hmm. And then the there's this nice kind of a cody mouthfeel. The syrupiness doesn't stay super long, but that tingle in your the mouth tingle, stays. tingle, yeah. And it just keeps going along with that um, a light, like caramel, vanilla toastiness. Mm-hmm. So when we come back, David's going to put them on podiums. In fifth place is this guy. Fourth place was this one. In third place was this one. Second place was this one. And first place was this one. So we agreed on first place. This fifth place one, though, was not my favorite of mm -hmm. the night by any means. Oh, yeah. That one was super oaky, peppery. It's got a really nice caramel note to it. Mm -hmm but that's just not enough so that's mm -hmm. why it was fifth place for me okay. um this was my fourth place your third place i liked it for me that's not usually my profile but then it was like add a little bit of sweetness to it it made it weird and kind of interesting so i picked it it's it's interesting because this one has this very earthy quality to it that i mm -hmm. talked about this one doesn't have that earthiness and normally they'd have been backwards but there was just something about this one that mm -hmm. i just wasn't in love with tonight First place was really good. Second place and third place were, I thought, really pretty exceptional bourbons. Yep. Pretty solid. So, okay. <clears throat> Jamie. Are you ready? 
I'm ready. Yeah, I want to know what you what you're making me okay, drink. Close your eyes. Please, please, please don't drop anything. Make multiple trips. Nope. These, these aren't grocery bags. Nope. You can't. You don't have to nope, do them all David. in one trip. I see some old friends in this competition. <laughs> David, do yeah? you recognize any of these guys? I recognize all of these. Do you know why I put them in a blind together? I took a few of the bottles that David had in his first place during some of the blinds, but I did pull out a store pick, and I think I pulled out a a really really like unicorn bottle. I added Russell's and I added the Sam Houston. All right. So these guys are, there's 12 years, there's 10 years, and then there's what, two guys that are not um, age stated, no, but they're, they're supposed to be on the younger side, right? Well, the, this is blend of six, eight, and 12 year. Yep. And then the E.H. Taylor is supposedly seven to eight year. I yeah. hit most of the years. <laughs> well, these are all ones that I actually normally really, really like. So I'm yeah. interested to see which one this one is. I haven't loved the Sam Houston 12 in the That's past. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it might be the Sam Houston 12. Yeah. I love the Sam Houston 14 and 15, but the 12, for some reason, I don't love. In fifth place, we have Knob Creek 12 year. In fourth place, we have Sam Houston 12 year. Okay. That was your third place, Jamie. Third place for me, Wild Turkey Rare Breed. It's a good one. I told you I like this one. So mm -hmm. it being in third place is not shame. There's no shame on the Wild Turkey tonight. Russell's Reserve 10 year. E.H. <laughs> Taylor. Takes number one takes for number both one for both of us. us. And in the beginning of this video, and Jamie's gonna cut it out, I was like, Oh, this tastes just like E.H. Taylor, he small did. batch. These two threw me, to be honest. They yeah. they really did. This one I liked the I think I said I liked the caramel note, but then this it kind of tasted musty and old. Mm -hmm. But there was something else in there it that I kind of liked. There was a sweetness that kind of made me like it. Yeah. All of these were good tonight. It's just about finding that one guy that stands really, really tall. <laughs> yeah, it's right, it's right in front of... I, I'm always going to put whatever bottle is right here in front of Jamie. <laughs> first place just so this giant bottle is right in her face it's funny that of all these bottles on the table the sam houston 12 might be the hardest to get and it's in fourth place yeah yeah and then the easiest bottle to get is this one and it's in second place and the wild trigger breeds the next easiest and it's in in you know third place for me and second place for you and these are both are ones that i can go back and forth on yeah, up against everything. I was really digging this tonight. I have to give you kudos for putting together a very good blind. I'm very happy with this blind. If you guys like what we're doing here on Beyond the Road, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you like Jamie and I finding our bourbon sweet spots. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. David! Jerk face! Yes! Who else is named David? Don't guess stuff. Just okay. All right, do, fine. Do I'll, the notes, okay? I'm going to do it how I want to do oh it. Oh, my gosh. You're always wrong. You almost were there. I'm gonna say so close, I'm gonna David. I'm going to say gently caress. So close. I'm going to say close, gently close. caress the like button. <laughs> Can I say that? No. Please. No. Can I say poke the like button? No. Poke it. No. Can I say... Smashy smash smash. Can I say that? No. Gently caress that like button. No. Just